one, go. Autonomous kicks off. Blue Alliance, they're going to go three for three on the top row of nodes as they get started. Control-Z docking and engaging. Over on red, they've got one up top, one in the middle. 67-21, Tindley, they're trying to balance out, but they're just going to end up docked as Autonomous ends. Drivers in control now. Blue Alliance with the lead, 39-21, to as match 10 gets underway here at Indy Rage. Control Z 4096, they are midfield. It does look like that robot is designed for taking game pieces through the substation portal. They are waiting for their alliance partner, Red Alert, to exit that loading zone. From what I can tell, Red Alert is moving forward now, looking for a cube, collaborating with the human player behind the glass. Checking in with the Red Alliance Roundtable Robotics. They're approaching a cube on the playing field floor. That robot able to intake from the carpet. So Roundtable does not need to go all the way back to the Red Alliance loading zone to get their game piece. Hatchet Robotics for the Red Alliance. It looks like a little bit of a communication problem for that robot. They have a solid robot signal light. Drivers looking at the laptop right in front of their robot, trying to get back in action for this match. Plenty of time remaining here. Blue Alliance with a narrow lead still, 45 to 31. Tindley Trailblazers up and over the charge station while their alliance partner Roundtable Robotics is working on dropping off a cube. Tindley's going to reach on up. They want to get the first link for the Red Alliance if they can. Instead, they're going to opt for the co-op grid. They'll pick up five points. Now two options available with a cone on the top row of nodes if the Red Alliance can shuttle one over with 45 seconds remaining. Checking back in on blue, no links there quite yet either. One big opportunity if a robot can ferry a cone on over. Control Z looking to pick up that cone they might use. Control Z does grab that cone. Unfortunately, that cone is inside the frame perimeter of their robot. It might be stuck there, or they might try to dislodge it so they can continue to carry game pieces here in this match. Match is now wrapping up. We've got Red Alert docked and engaged on the Blue Alliance charge station. Roundtable Robotics doing the same for the Red Alliance. RTR nearly tips over on their back wheels, but they have now docked and engaged with their partners, Tinley Trailblazers. That'll be 20 points. Red Alert and Control Z, both of those robots. Also at the very end, a nudge from one of those robots does tip them down toward the playing field. Those robots may just be docked there at the conclusion of the match. Match 10 results are here, winning the match, the Red Alliance. By one point in match 10, 62 to 61, right there at the end of the match, Red Alliance did take the win and three ranking points.